Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Jeffrey Hunt here, uh, fantasy digital artist and uh, recent uh, YouTuber. Um, received this question recently on my Twitter feed. It looks like he from Microsoft Surface. Where did the inspiration for this piece come from? Well, rather than type out a very complicated response, I figure, well, why not? Why not do a video on it and share it with everyone? So. Lots of people can benefit from from this this newfound knowledge. Uh, although I don't think it's uh, rocket science, but uh, it's new to me, so I'm pretty happy about it. So I absolutely love creating digital art, I mean, whether it's Photoshop or in this case, you know, I used uh, Clip Studio Paint, and I was wondering to myself, you know. What can I do to add some really cool lighting effects or maybe even turn my still image into a more captivating animated design? So I found myself doing what most people in 2022 do now is we went on to YouTube and I went looking for some ideas and some inspiration and I came across some Blender tutorials. And one of those tutorials was a very good description about particle fields. And then I started thinking, well, wow, you know, I had just recently made this image of a, of a witch. So how neat it would be to create some type of, of a magical effect of either moving fireflies or maybe it's magical energy flying around uh, to, to kind of create more of a sense of mystery or mood to the the overall design so I started uh, going through the blender tutorial and learned how to create the particle field and just some basic stuff to play around with and I was so amazed at all the things you could do to change the lighting change the angles of the shots and I think I pretty much became a kid in a candy store within mere moments of playing with it and then uh, using the uh, compositor feature of Blender, I downloaded some appropriate mood music that I thought fit the scene that I made. And you know, and I ended up with a pretty cool, pretty cool mood setting scene that I then animated and exported as MP4 and, and uploaded into YouTube. So. Not too complicated, but uh, although it sounds more complicated until you really start digging in and doing it, it's actually a lot of fun. Um, so well, what I've done here is I'll show you, uh, I do a quick breakdown of my the process that I used in uh, Blender. And so you can see uh, what I did and you know, hey, there might be a better way out there to do the same thing that uh, I'm showing you. Uh, more power to you. Uh, this is just the way that I chose to do it. And so hopefully um, you guys get something good out of it. So here we go. Okay, everyone. So I'm inside Blender and I'm going to show you how I set this piece up. But let me quickly give you a... Um, itemization of all the all the pieces parts here so I've got my cube which is right here uh, the cube is uh, the object that the particle system was created from so all these little white dots here uh, you can see those are the particles and you see when I hit the play button that they start moving around now how fast and how slow these particles move are all based on however you modify the settings here Again, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of really good tutorials out there on how to set this up, and I'm not going to go that far in depth, so I'm just showing you really the basics of what I, how I put together the piece that uh, I'm showing you. Um, so we've got our lights. Uh, we have a, I have a uh, point light here, and then if I zoom out, you can see I've got a spotlight here. <clears throat> Um, I go a bit to uh, solid mode. You see the uh, the cube a lot better. So you see it's got this nice kind of a green look. I've got the cube set to an opaque mode, 
so that it's transparent. That way, when the simulation is playing, you're not looking at a, at a cube, you're, you're looking at the substance of what's inside of the cube. And this green color is really because of this uh, point light that I have. And this here is the actual image, which, because it's not in rendered mode, it just shows up as the plane. So if I were to toggle this on, now the image shows up on the plane. So uh, if you have uh, experience with textures, uh, with planes, essentially what you're doing is you're assigning your image as the material for the plane that you're using. Uh, I hope I said that right. Uh, if not, you can uh, feel free to correct me, but uh, this is how I, I, how I understand it. Um, and if I, uh, let's see, so let's look at this in camera mode. So this is what the shot looks like when it's all set up. Um, what I do is I play the simulation and I watch it until I find the um, position of the particle in comparison to the image. You know, it's personal preference, whatever uh, you think looks good to you. And you can pause it and then you can go up to render and render image and of course you can create your image or if you hit render animation then it will play the entire animation. And I've got this particular animation set up for to play at uh, for 100 frames and then you know when I build my final animation I, and within the uh, video compositor I just copy and paste the same 100 cells over and over again. Uh, I find that it cuts down on the overall render time um, so I uh, doesn't take as long. Uh, maybe on a faster machine, uh, it might play better. Um, let's see. Uh, you can see the uh, ICO spheres that have been set up to have a, a, a bloom effect, which gives you that nice little kind of a glow look to it. And then I have my other one, my other particle, uh, set to black. So it will look like a shadow as it plays over. I don't think you can see it in this one, but in the final version, you know, every once in a while you'll see a couple of black uh, uh, pieces go over. It kind of gives it a little bit more uh, of a uh, effect. So let me go now into my, let me show you the lights. The lights are pretty cool. So you can see my here we got camera mode again. Okay, so, how do I use these lights? So let's turn, let's turn this one off. Let's turn the point light or the spotlight off. There we go. And let's turn this one off too. You're probably gonna see that until okay. So now we're in we're in uh, render mode. And my my uh, image is basically gone now. If I activate my lights, let's turn this one on first. Uh, so this light is from my spotlight. And you, know, you can play around with these colors however you like. Uh, let's go down to the actual light itself. And select light so you, know, you can change this however you want to. And as you can see, you know, as I go through the color spectrum, see how it works with the uh, colors, the original colors of the piece itself. It's almost like you have a gradient map and you're moving through different color alternatives. So, you know, talk about getting some efficiency out of, out of a piece that you've created. So let's uh, go to the other light now. Let's, uh, well, actually, let's turn this one off again. See how this one's a dark red? So, you know, if I can like play with the wattage here, if I go down to say 100 watts, it almost just go a little bit brighter. Through it's to 300 watts. You know, as I go up, the image starts to show. So I put 100. I meant to put a thousand. Image starts to shine up even more. And again, I can change you know the colors of the light and make the can almost change the, the color scheme of the original piece completely if I wanted to. Let's go to this, go to this. And so all of these tools 
really allow you to go through and almost completely transform this into what I think is a very handy, uh, multi-purpose um, a feature that you can, you know, upload on your YouTube, uh, like what I'm doing, or, you know, let's see, I mean, other applications, like maybe you're going to build some type of a promo for a design that you've made, you can add, just throw it into Blender and add a few more effects to it, and voila, you know, you've got, I mean, I think, I think, you know, you're just limited by your own creativity. So, um, full transparency, this is the first tutorial tutorial excuse me I've ever uploaded on YouTube uh, I hope that you found this useful I hope that you found it inspiring uh, but uh, I'd like to know what you think in the comment section uh, thanks and uh, have a good day and hey if you like that then uh, come over and check out my gumroad store I've got my most recent comic book uploaded called compilation of horror if you like scary ghost stories, then this is the place to see. Also follow my website for all my latest updates. See you next time.